Take one. I won the Soul Train Music Awards for Best New Artist. And I just remember walking off the stage and somebody was like, you look so beautiful. And I looked, I was like, oh. I was so ghetto, I was like, oh, okay. And the publicist from Atlantic was like, girl, that's what you feel. But I was like, I was like, nah, Big Mill trying to holler at me. My bodyguard gave him my number without permission. I really wasn't, people would never understand because I thought he was just an A-lister trying to sleep with me. So I knew that I didn't know about no fufu, I eat fried sushi. I don't know what this dude is doing. I think what hurt was like black women, black women was like, uh-uh, she so ghetto, why he date her? What you do not understand is that through everything he went through, the, from the passing of his father all the way down, I was the one that was there. I was never hid, you know? People just never assumed, you know? We could go anywhere, club, man, we did everything. We got kicked out of clubs together, everything. And people just didn't assume, that's on them. We later did a musical that played on VH1 that he produced for me. And we were like really great friends. And I just remember being so hurt that this baby was coming. And I was like, this baby is fucking up my life. Like I would cry to my mom, why this baby gotta be here? Why is not my baby? Why, why this time? And he would just always ask me, can you wait? Can you, can you just wait? A couple more months, a couple more months. And then finally, my mother started to get mad. You know when the mothers get to going, let me talk to him because you not gonna whatever. He didn't believe in marriage. He didn't believe in a lot of things that I believed in, spiritually and everything. And it just wasn't a spiritual match for me. And little old me, low self-esteem says, uh-uh, I'm not gonna do this. Because there was always a part of me, I think, that felt like maybe I wasn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? And instead of hurting myself or, you know, accepting something like that, I just wanted it away. Cause I was, I, I loved him so much. I just wanted him gone. He had his baby, which is crazy the day I had lipo. He told me that the baby was coming, and I was under all type of drugs from the anesthesiologist and everything, and I just remember calling him like, fuck that baby! Oh, fuck that baby! Oh! I was screaming. I'm probably not the best thing to do, tell a, a dad, a new dad to a boy, fuck that baby. But I did. And I just remember saying to him, would you want your daughter to date a man like you? And it was on Father's Day. I wrote a whole album called Anybody Want to Buy a Heart because I was selling that bitch. And every single song was about him and I sent him the whole album. And he sent it back, well, he responded back and said, this is art, this is amazing. I'm sorry that I brought these words out of you. And I said, no, it's cool. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? And we, you know, exchanged texts and checked on one another and it just got to the point for me where I miss my friend more than anything, and I felt like he didn't defend me. I felt like when people were calling me a liar again about my relationship, I've been sitting here with this man for like, what, nine months long, I'm dating, we're in it out. I just could not believe, like, we spent so much time together, he would never, he did not come out and say, stop attacking her. Or he didn't come out and say, you know, this is my friend, you know what I'm saying? I know about this album, I know all of this, so I feel like I'm not over that. I feel like you picked looking like a great guy over someone who had your back through everything. You know, when you didn't get nominated for Mandela, when you didn't, all of that, when you cried, everything, I had your back. And you didn't have mine in the midst of Everybody tweet me and attacking me, you know, calling me a liar, doing all of that. You just sat there. You let them do it. So I wish him the best, but to me, he showed that he wasn't my friend. And this Rico Suave great guy is human. And once again, we have the industry and the media that will place your title upon you even if it ain't true.